In this video, we learn how to calculate the activation energy for a chemical reaction. Activation energy is defined as the minimum kinetic energy needed by reacting particles for a chemical reaction to occur. Here we have the Arrhenius equation. K is the rate constant, A is the Arrhenius constant, Ea is the activation energy, T is temperature in Kelvin, and R is the gas constant. If we take the natural log of both sides of this equation, we end up with this new equation over here. Here we have a graph of ln k against 1 over t. ln k is on the y-axis, 1 over t on the x-axis. And if we plot a graph of ln k against 1 over t, we have a straight line. And the gradient of this line is equal to the negative activation energy divided by the gas constant. And we can use this expression next to calculate the activation energy. So here's our example. Consider the following graph of ln k against 1 over t for the first order decomposition of N2O4 into NO2. Determine the activation energy in kilojoules per mole for this reaction. So the first thing we do is find the gradient of this line. So over here you can see the slope or gradient is equal to the change in the y-axis divided by the change in the x-axis. And if you do the math, you end up with negative 6.67 times 10 to the 3. So from the previous slide, we said that gradient of the line is equal to negative activation energy divided by R, the gas constant. So what we can do here, we can put in the gradient of the line, which is negative 6.67 times 10 to the 3, is equal to negative Ea over R. Now, if we multiply both sides by the gas constant, which is 8.31, we end up with this here. So activation energy equals 6.67 times 10 to the 3 times 8.31, which is the gas constant. And that gives us an activation energy of 55.4 kilojoules per mole. 